Jen Maria, welcome. And thank you so much for being such a great partner of IBM. Uh, please tell me a little bit about yourself, your company, and your team. Well, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, my name is Gianmaria Clerici. Uh, I'm from Italy, and I've been in software development for a long time, uh, over 35 years. Uh, I lived uh, 22 years in Silicon Valley, where I worked for various startups and uh, corporations. And 10 years ago, I came back to Italy and where I worked for a few uh, local startups. And in particular, in the last year, I started um, to work for Flip as the CTO. And uh, Flip is a very uh, new startup that was founded maybe a year and a half uh, by a small group of uh, startup experts. And um, you know, we have a long-term goal which is basically to develop a, a, a fintech platform that allows the meeting and the match of investors and scale-ups. You know, obviously, scale-ups are startup in a particular phase where they need investments. And investor, uh, I would say actually sophisticated investor, are looking for interesting, innovative startup to enhance their portfolio. Now, all of this is done in the context of the European community. So we pretty much spend a lot of time um, learning all the corporate law and the financial law because we want it from the beginning be absolutely compliant as much as possible. Of course, laws changes but over time, but to be compliant with our platform so that when we are live, we don't have to be. Uh, we don't have to worry about adjusting our platform to the law. So that was the goal of our platform. Uh, Jen Maria, what are some of the drivers behind Fleet's direction to collaborate with IBM? Well, there is a lot of reason. Obviously, uh, you know the IBM brand. It's uh, for us is a huge marketing tool. You know, uh, it's nice to be associated with you guys. Uh, we are looking for, you know, business opportunities uh, that might come up in the future. Uh, right now, for instance, we are uh, starting to collaborate um, with Intesa SAPA, which is an IBM company, which has great uh, premium services, which we are looking to integrate with. Instead of developing our own, you know, we like to integrate with people that already know how to do it. For instance, electronic signature, notarized documentation. Um, also, you know, I have to admit that the, you know, the credit, the cloud credit program was a huge incentive for us. You know, we started with just a thousand dollar a month and then we went into the premium, which was great for us because, uh, you know, as much as we, we consider ourselves, you know, very much in line with the law, we are also a technology company. So uh, we decided from the beginning to invest into blockchain or perhaps you should say DLT technology, you know, hyperledger fabric. And, um, you know, as you know, it's kind of an expensive technology, but because of the credit program, we did, didn't have to worry about that at the beginning. And so we could develop an architecture that we believe is going to scale and is also fault tolerant natively. And so having the credits was, uh, was great for us. Yeah, that, that, that's terrific to hear. And you mentioned about blockchain technology and the innovation you are doing. So how easy was it to deploy and test your Fleep digital company application, which leverages Hyperledger Fabric, DLT, and of course, IBM Cloud? Well, you know, I have to say it was as easy as a software development of this magnitude can be. You know, this is a complex architecture. Um, we decided to use another reason, which maybe I forgot to mention, you know, with IBM is that IBM was one of the founders of Hyperledger. So obviously it's very much, uh, um, you know, interested to provide a, a service that is easy to use. So we're using IBM blockchain platform, which is a, you know, cloud service that has behind the Hyperledger. So that was very easy, you know, the inst to instantiate the service. Uh, and then we decided to leverage uh, the Kubernetes cluster, which is used by the IBM blockchain platform, to develop all our microservices. Uh, we decided to use an open source approach because we believe in the long term, it's good to be a little bit platform independent. You know, we are very happy with IBM, but it's good to be platform independent. So we are using IBM specific services where it's needed. Otherwise, we stay with open source. You know, obviously Kubernetes, 
Uh, we're using, you know, Java. We're using a third-party identity access management software. Uh, and then, you know, all open source, uh, MariaDB, CouchDB, uh, MongoDB. Uh, so it, it was easy because IBM, uh, you know, it doesn't force you to use their own services. You know, you can use uh, whatever you want. So, so I think, you know, it was, as I mentioned, you know, as easy as it can be. Um, you know, the other thing that was um, for us very important is the partnership with Lucas Group. You know, because uh, in the beginning, in particular the first year, the cloud credits are great, but the support was not, you know, uh, production quality. You know, we didn't have that level of support, which we do have now. And so Luca was very helpful and Raul, and we talked with, uh, you know, a blockchain expert or Kubernetes expert like Leonardo, Alain, because sometimes, you know, you run into those issues and get to a wall, you know, support goes as far as it can go. So yeah. it was great to have that one-on-one, -on -one, you know, very uh, friendly and, you know, fairly easy to reach support uh, from uh, from Lucas Group. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's great to hear that the hybrid cloud build team, which Luca and others are part of, were able to help you. It's great to hear that. Uh, Jen Maria, one final question for you. What business opportunities have opened up for Fleet.io because of this collaboration with IBM? Yeah, well, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the having the brand of IBM associated with our brand, obviously, you know, we we uh, we are proud to put the sticker of being a part of the you know cloud uh, uh, of the startup program, and. Um, you know, we've been also high, um, on a couple of blogs, uh, you know, which give us a lot of visibility, in particular in Italy and in Europe. Um, we've been in touch, as I mentioned earlier, with one of your company, Intesa, which, you know, right now we are in the talk for distributing their software, or integrating, well, I should say, their software into ours. And I think, you know, the best has yet to come. You know, right now we are just going into production mode and we are starting to sell our service. So we are really hoping, you know, and we are sure we, we're going to get some help from IBM reaching out their, you know, their partners and their customers. You know, maybe, uh, you know, I, I don't want to go as, as far as reselling a service, of course, but helping to push our service over the, you know, the customer base that IBM has. Yeah. And Jan Maria, it's great to hear about the innovation that your company is driving and, of course, the value IBM is able to provide as part of your journey. So thank you so much for your time, for being such a great partner of IBM, and I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. Thank you.